everyone welcome welcome back i am so excited for you guys to see this video because i'm going to go into what exactly is your life purpose before i get into that be sure to check out the previous episodes of connected intentions and I really do want to build up on my YouTube channel with not just episodes from the podcast, but with other things that I love as well. If you have not gotten your copy of the 30 Day Manifest Your Dreams Challenge book, you can get that in the link in my bio. So we're going to get into this. What is your life purpose? So you may have answered this question a billion times of what are you passionate about? What do you want to do? What are your strengths and your weaknesses? And all those things are really, really helpful to finding your life purpose. But your life purpose is not your job. Your life purpose is not your career. Your life purpose is a combination of your gifts and talents and skills that many people do choose to carry out through a career. So for example, you may be an artistic, nurturing person who can really help people get in tune with themselves. Now you are here on earth, you have free will, and you can carry that out however you please. So using that example that I just gave, maybe you are a teacher for younger children, but you are not teaching art, you are doing your art outside of the classroom. But inside of the classroom, you are helping children to be in tune with themselves. So with this example that I just gave, you can see that obviously with this example, this person is not fulfilling the one part of themselves, of their gifts in their job, but they are doing that outside of that thing. So I really want you to think about that. What are some things that make you unique? And I want you to come up with a sentence or two to really describe that. So for me, my life purpose is to help young people get in tune with themselves and to help people find their life purpose. So I have so many options to carry that out. I could be a school teacher. I am carrying it out right now through doing this podcast and YouTube videos and content creating. I can be a coach in any area that I choose. You can see that there are so many different options here. And I have a story to tell about the fact that not all of your passions are meant to be a career. So a lot of times when we think about, okay, what career do I want? We tend to think about just what we are passionate about, but actually that's not always the case. So in my personal story, I grew up a dancer. I always wanted to be a dancer. You could have seen this in the very first episode of the Connected Intentions podcast where I talked about my journey and just some of the things that I went through along my journey, specifically in dance. So I wanted to be a professional dancer. I was taking dance classes at a college and then I decided to work with an intuitive reader and she really helped me to figure out that even though I love dance and that is a passion of mine, that it wasn't really right for me. So we were doing an exercise where I had to write down my values and what I wanted those to be in a career. So she went on to explain how hers was freedom. And luckily this intuitive reader, someone who had the experience in the professional dance industry and gave her experience and her story to me uh, before I got into anything too seriously. And she said, you know, my number one value in a career is freedom. And as a professional dancer, you're not going to have that freedom in the 12 hour rehearsal days, being on tour, being on call, etc. And I was like, wait a minute, freedom is my number one value too. And that was like the aha moment for me that even though I really loved dance, this was not something that was going to fulfill me. This was not going to complete my life purpose. So you may be experiencing something right now where you have a passion and you want to turn that into a career. But before really honing on, in on that, 
really go into your values. What do you value in a job? And again, most people choose to carry out their life purpose through a career, but our life purpose is multidimensional. We carry it out through all areas of life. So I really want you to think about those things in all areas of life. And then you can, of course, narrow it down to a career. So after that, I was like, okay, this isn't right for me. And a few months later, I wrote my first book and then I wrote a couple more books. And this has become a really strong outlet for me because I love being here in front of the camera and talking to you guys. However, I can really deliver the exact messages that I want to give the best through my books and my content. So that has been an outlet for me to live my life purpose through. I want you guys to comment down below. What are your values? What are you passionate about? But maybe that thing is something that will be your escape. So for me, dance might not be my job or my career, but it is my escape. And I can fulfill all aspects of my life purpose because I now understand this. So that is something I really want all of you to focus on. And everyone has a life purpose here on earth. A lot of people tend to deviate off of the path and they don't think that they have a purpose. But the truth is that we are all born here with a purpose. But when we come here to earth, we are born here with free will. And with that free will, we can either stay on the path of being aligned and living our life purpose, or we can go off of the path and not be in our authentic selves and living our life purpose. So you may be thinking, while I was saying that, wait a minute, but there are so many people who do this or that, or they struggle with different illnesses, or they don't know how to really make something of themselves in life. And the way that you do that is by understanding that we are all here with the life purpose, by understanding that this is multidimensional, that we fulfill this thing in all areas of life. I want all of you to feel really inspired in knowing that your life purpose is not limited. It's not limited to one subject that you take in a college or university. It's not limited to the job that you have now. It's not limited to a career that you see in the future. We have to think about all aspects of things. So I want you to start noticing in all areas of your life, what are you gifted in? How do you seem to really get and understand the world around you? What can you offer to the world? And it would be really helpful to ask a friend or a family member because through that you can start applying it to all areas of life. And when we really start to apply these things in not just a job or a career, but all aspects of life, they tend to amplify. So if there's something that you notice where you have a really big strength in this thing and you do it just for genuine fulfillment, then because you are doing it for the fulfillment, it can be amplified and bring you more opportunities. So I want you all to know that you all have a life purpose. And if you are watching or listening to this right now, then you are on the right path. This is a sign that you are on the right path or that you are coming back into alignment. Thank you guys so much for listening. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and let's stay connected. Thank you guys so much for watching and be sure to stay tuned for the next episode.